he needs to do is master the new Nancy Pelosi clap at people. Yes! All she's got to do it's is turn around it. and do that little condescending little clap. That the clap needs. back. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it, but I heard about this clap. Well, and I did you, watch, it, and did I you go it's, watch it's the... honestly a mass. It's did a you watch the, Did you see the little meme with her clapping like that? Yes, I yes. messed it up. I, yes, it's a masterpiece. It is. It is she a must masterpiece. Have, she must have tried, like, honestly, Oscars, Schmoshker. She she gets the award for best acting this year for yeah. that. So that was it. But we need to teach your ma how to do the clap at people like that. Yeah. So she can, because she can't get them off of Facebook, so she might as well clap at them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> poor Ricky down in Florida. We'll make sure she's all right. We'll yeah. check in. But also in Florida, right. the um, did you know that they have trolls in Orlando now in Universal Studios, and they fart oh, glitter. Was that? Really? Yes, fart it's the cutest Orlando. thing. But people are mad. They're oh, really they're mad. mad. Yeah. Oh, yep. it's in, oh, there's a Universal Studios. Okay. Yep. And the little. I was gonna say that I didn't think that was Disney. No, so the they're troll. Right, they're right there in the park. You and walk they just, by it, and you walk by, and it goes hee hee hee, and a little poof of glitter comes park. out of its butt. And people are mad about that. Yeah, they said it's disgusting, and they shouldn't have that. It's around the kids. Really? Yeah. The kid. That's the worst thing the kids have seen and heard. Right. Wow. Pretty, uh, yeah. That I know. Listen, I also, I, I follow this page. Um, it's called, uh, I don't know if you follow it on Facebook. It's very popular. It's uh, pictures of in history, and they'll post pictures and of everything. I don't know. They got a few million followers, so it's, it's a big, big thing. They posted a picture of a bathtub found in, like, the 1940s from an abandoned and insane asylum in Texas. And it was just this old bathtub and it had all like human brains and it was in that solution. You send me that picture. Yeah. That solution that like tried to preserve these brains. All right. I see the picture. I'm there for the comments. Okay. So I go straight to the comments section. There we go. So there's your photo picture of brains in like formaldehyde from 1940. Okay. So that's where the Trump supporters brains were left. (laughs) Oh my God. Look, they're brainwashed. (laughs) Someone's both. I like that that one. Someone else. Somewhere Mm. in there was probably my soulmate. (laughs) All right. Another good one. Gives new meaning to think tank quotes <laughs> the original smart water <laughs> <laughs> and my all time favorite one is I came here for the comments and I'm not disappointed <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was gross. my we, comments so we of the week show, we should uh, share the bathtub yes we will and the, it's the con if the picture is gruesome <laughs> It but is gross. you gotta go for the you know every always look at the comments okay yeah. so that was yeah. that was a really good setup yeah um, I'm gonna tell you about this weird story that yeah. I told you I was gonna talk about so this did not happen in Florida no but it happened in North Carolina which is you know that's in the middle of where second transitions, you know how transitions gets weirder as you go south right mm-hmm. you know it was like a like a curve you know what I mean that's kind yeah. of as you go south it gets a little bit weirder so um. This girl in in college at North at North Carolina, um, the University of North Carolina, was living off campus, and she thought her house was haunted. Okay, that's a fair assumption. You know what I mean? Like we both think there's ghosts. You know, she was nervous. You know, she she thought the house was haunted, and she heard stuff in her closet, and so she heard a rattling in her closet, and she decided. Um, I'm going to confront this ghost and open the door. Right. And she found a live man hiding in her closet, <laughs> wearing her clothes with a bag with more of her clothes in it. And he just kind of walked out and goes, Oh, hi, my name is drew. <laughs> and he went into the bathroom, like went past her, went into the bathroom and started checking himself out in the mirror. And he, he said to her, you're really pretty. Can I give you a hug? But he, he didn't, she, like, got away and, like, didn't touch her, didn't touch her. Right. And, um, so they called the police. 
<laughs> and like it turns out like they don't really know how he got in there but the the apartment complex leasing officer said he had changed the locks like from the last people but they they don't really know how he got in there or how long he had been in there so like i think she had like been hearing these noises for a while so i don't know if the guy was living in the closet and they really still don't really have answers on how to this guy got in the closet but can you imagine that like you hear sounds in your closet and you yeah open that's up, crazy and there's a freaking weirdo like he wasn't like like trying to be dangerous to her he was just weird and in the closet and, and wearing her clothes. So that's what's going on in North Carolina. Yeah, that's crazy. But you know what? With Valentine's Day coming up, uh, let's talk <laughs> about... Segue. Yeah, good let's segue, get... Yeah. Let's not but forget about get, these. This is what you could buy for the man in your closet. <laughs> so uh, you, can, uh, you can have a cockroach named after your ex or anyone. That is... And they will, you know... And it's where $2. Do they, where, do they, where do they have the cockroaches at? Where are they keeping them? I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's a zoo, it's a right, zoo in it England. It's a zoo in England. Okay. Right. And you can have the perfect gift, and it's uh, it's $2 to have a cockroach name. That's after. cheap. Yeah. You get, like, a certificate. You get a certificate. Yeah. I that's named cute. Cock- it, it, says, it says, I've named a cockroach at the Hemsley Con- conservation center uh-huh. and the not in the not so loving memory of my worthless ex you get a little <laughs> you get a little plaque i don't really have i mean it's been so long since i've had an ex i don't really have anyone um that i'm that hyped up about naming it but that's that's funny yeah that's what i, I hope they have enough cockroaches to go around i bet you that's gonna go viral they're gonna have to buy it more cockroaches, I think. What else uh, you got for Valentine's uh, Day? For Valentine's Day, you can get a bouquet of pickles. Yep. Um, I'm looking so you here. Get a pickle and, pizza and yep, a bouquet of pickles. And you can yeah. get a bouquet of pickles. And apparently it's a really big deal. Of course, they don't oh, value okay. that. Um, but yeah, so apparently it's been like really busy. They've had a ton of orders for this because pickles are... The hipsters, you know, the pickle and the avocado, I think, are their, mm-hmm. their big, their big thing, right? So, yeah. and it's Gorilla Pickles online. You yeah. can, you can do it. You can order them. Um, there's one more thing here I wanted to I, tell I you. I got one. Which I got one? one here. Yeah. It's called, it's called, it's called, um, the name of the company is called ba- Ball Wash. Yeah. This Val- yes. This Valentine's Day. It's easy to tell him you're nuts about him with a gift that'll make him feel and smell great everywhere. Yeah. You can buy the sack pack is the winning trifecta of men's natural products specifically formulated to take care of their most prized possessions. The you get a ball wash. It comes with the ball wash. Yeah. To wash your nut, to wash your balls. <laughs> um, it's a charcoal nut in, uh, butt and body wash. And then there's the the sack spray, a refreshing <laughs> tea. You, it's like a deodorizer for your, for your sack. And then you get a nut. It's the last product in the package is called a nut rub, and it's a natural cologne that you can um, basically butter up your nuts with. So <laughs> that's another great gift. So another really great gift for the men. For the men. Uh, yeah. Guess what was on tonight? I taped it, by the way. Uh, oh, Rochester is going to be on HD TV tonight. I House did. Hunters. Oh, it is. It was on tonight. Yeah. Or well, I, I I recorded it. I think it's on like ten tonight. Is the first they'll replay right. it. Okay. Oh and yeah, those things. It's the Rochester right. one, oh, but tonight yeah. it premieres. Um, you guys that are listening, catch it on repeat because uh, we recorded this. You already before. missed it. Yeah, you missed it. So sorry, but um, you know, do you see me talking to the microphone and I say, "You guys," like I'm looking at the microphone and t- it's. All right. No, I don't see you this time. All right, never was, mind. Like, it was just really weird what I well. was just doing. Yeah, anyway. those shows though, like they usually buy the house beforehand. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Stuff that they, oh, yeah. But let me like, tell whatever. you the story. Uh, so they're one hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt. 
But so wow. can they find the perfect home is the premise of In Rochester, show. yes. You yes. Can. Uh so anyway, this is you know, it's gonna all be in Rochester, but I wanted to tell you about House Hunters. We were just talking about this at work today and laughing as usual about yes. how do they do this in New York City and Boston and the houses are like a million dollars and it's like a couple with four kids, you know? Yeah, they, and they're like yeah. so what do you do? Well, yeah. she knits beanies on Etsy, and <laughs> yeah. he teaches yoga. Yeah, yeah we need yeah. four bathrooms. Bud- yeah, it's and our budget's two million, million dollar budget. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we were also laughing about like the demands that they also have, like. Um, yeah. You know, we have we we have four kids. We need four bathrooms, and we need you know yeah a, for each kid. Each right. kid needs a but bathroom. But then the best we were saying like. I would lo- I own chickens and I'm looking for the perfect loft in Manhattan. <laughs> but I need to bring my chickens. You know, we're like, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I own three horses, yeah. but we need to be in the Well, city I of did Boston. read a, I did read an article actually. Uh I don't have it right in front of me, but you know, it's another millennial um another millennial thing that people are doing and it we did the same thing. Uh you know, people are buying houses that suits their dog's needs first, not not children, because millennials aren't having kids because it's too expensive. <laughs> right. So, the, so top, the, the top priority right now for millennials buying homes is for their what's going to be best for their pets. Okay. That is that is statistically what is happening. So, I yeah, like, you know, we had to we had to buy a house that would be good for all our cats. You know, huh. gotta have a lot of space. You can't keep them all looking at each other they get mad you know <laughs> so yeah so the yard is really important for a dog you know stuff like that so if you're selling your house and you want it to sell to the millennials crowd you better get it pet friendly because that's what they're looking for that's what they're looking for what's this dead baby shark is a bond oh baby geez you know i was just not even gonna do that one but yeah like who what who, is this he, he, the, all right. so they're, apparently no, they're on Australia. this fishing boat the Australian yeah. weirdo. And they were on the fishing boat, these people, and they made a bong out of a dead baby shark, this fisherman. Oh. Did they kill it or did they find it dead? I don't I'm sure they were fishing and maybe they hooked it by mis- I don't know. But anyway, I'm thinking, well, how do you know how far out at sea they are? They needed something, but that's wrong. That was wrong of me yeah, to think. That. that is <laughs> that was wrong, wrong of you to think. Was wrong. Yeah, I mean, you could roll a paper. You You're roll right. It. They could have used a beer can. You're exactly you right. Want. No one is ever the desperate can. enough to use a baby shark. To use a baby shark. I'm sorry. Fun. I'm sorry. I just had yeah. a moment when I'm thinking, well, if you're desperate yeah. enough. <laughs> that I got a nightmare tough. story for you. Uh, apparently, there was this woman who was bullied um, about her weight, and she was going in for stomach liposuction, you know, a little su- liposuction in her stomach. Uh-huh. And uh, while she was out, the doctor decided to give her a nose job, too. No! No, yes! <laughs> okay. Oh. When she woke without, up... Without her consent? Yes. <gasps> so listen. Oh my God, that's horrible. Listen, when she woke up. You know up, that I had to have a nose job because of a yeah, bad break one time. Right. I'll tell you what, that is not a fun elective surgery to have. That well, hurts. It doesn't like, matter. Just could you imagine a doctor no, taking it upon himself yes, to give you oh a nose no, job? I can't. That's so, not. so listen, what it gets, is, it gets where worse. Where was this? Oh, it's the UK. In oh, Peru. You, I'm glad, I'm glad to see some international weirdos smoking yeah. paw out of sharks and yeah. But Amy, nose jobs. it gets better uh, when she woke what? up and she said to the doctor, like they were like, "What did you do?" He's like, "I gave you a nose job." He goes, "It went really well, and you really needed it. I did you a favor." Oh. <laughs> oh. So oh. the nose job was botched. Um. Now, this is how we know they're going to be on Wednesday's episode of Ease Botched. 
and this woman's oh. gonna be on telling her story about it, and they're gonna oh. fix her nose. They for usually her. fix up people. Yes, on there. and I that's, love that show. I honestly, I record uh, it. I love it. I can't I watch all guys. that. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I they amuse me. That. Those two. I love those two guys. They they yeah, crack they go, me up. Yeah, I, I watch I just, it for them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, Amy, they're making purses out of Crocs now. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that you sent me that. Our bill-